and uh, Chris Burr came out on top. He decisioned Frank Vassar. And we'll see if that is continued here. And uh, let's go up to center of the ring and meet our fighters. In the 165-pound division, your referee, Mr. Don DeVergis from Los Angeles, California. In the red corner, representing the South, from Flint, Michigan, Chris Bird. In the blue corner, representing the West, from Spokane, Washington, Frank Vassar. So our middleweights get ready here for round one. Chris Bird, very, very talented young man against Frank Vassar, who won this title last year and looked impressive doing it. He's a powerfully built middleweight who can punch. We mentioned that Bird beat him, however, by decision to win the U.S. amateur competition this year. And Vassar trying to get out of the blocks quickly here. Pinning Bird against the ropes and trying to wail away to the body. Bird going downstairs, trying to use that jab. Frank Vassar is a very interesting young man. He's, uh, he attends Eastern Washington University studying government and pre-law. A lot of the uh, boxers here are in college. We have many, many of the boxers are currently attending college while they work on their amateur boxing, and that is not easy. Not easy at all. Boxing takes full time. Full time, uh, it's all sacrificing. But these young men have been able to do it thus far. And most have done a very good job. We're halfway through just about round one. It's a round in which Frank Vassar trying to turn around his previous loss to Bird is uh, putting a lot of pressure on Chris Bird. Missing with a combination there. Really landing too well. Turns righty and lands a good left hook. That was an interesting move. I mean, that was quick. It was quick, but it's also dangerous. Yeah. If Frank Vassar had threw a right hand at the same time, he may have seen uh, a bit of a change in Chris yeah. Bird. Yeah, like he might have, been on, change. might have been on the mat, I think. But boy, he did that so quickly. That was amazing. And, and he did it again. And you're right, it is dangerous. He got away with it two times. His hand speed is so much quicker than Vassar. And it's now starting to show. He is really starting in the second part of this round to pick up the pace after Vassar had done extremely well in the early going. Under a half minute left to go here in round one. A middleweight encounter, Frank Vassar in the red. He is the defending Olympic Festival champion. And Chris Bird, who is the reigning U.S. amateur titleist. That'll do it for round one, in which Chris Bird came back strongly toward the end. We had a Vassar in the red, the reigning gold medalist here at the Olympic Fest in the middleweight division, and Chris Bird trying to capture that title. Chris was second in the 1989 Olympic uh, Festival, losing to Paul Vaden, who's a very good boxer. Has not appeared since then in this tournament. Skipped 1990. Vassar has him against the ropes and is ripping the left hook. And Ray, they told Vassar in between rounds they wanted the left hook from him. Well, they want the left hook, but they're pretty much getting the right hand, loop the right hand. There it is again. And he paid the price, didn't he? Because after he threw that looping right, Bird landed a good counter shot. Chris Bird has those kind of legs that can get him out of trouble. 
good upper body good movement. movement. Very yeah. good upper body movement. There, <laughs> there is a movement there. Vassar ends up between the ropes. Well, the speed edge, no question, goes to Bird. Vassar a little more ponderous in his movement, but a heavy-handed puncher. Vassar trying to use the left hook. As you, as you look at these two boxers, you can see that Though they're of varying styles, fairly evenly matched. But that hand speed of Bird ultimately ends up being the wild card. The, the, hand, the hand speed, Al, of uh, Bird is a neutralizer. I mean, it, it pretty much dictates everything. And although it appears that Frank Bassard is strong of the two, mm -hmm. the hand speed. It's almost, in sport, almost nothing neutralizes speed, does it? Nothing at all. Even in boxing, you'd think power would, but many times it doesn't. Well, great chin helps sometimes. <laughs> that doesn't hurt, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably two, two boxers in history that people associate uh, so much with speed in the last 20, 30 years, you and Muhammad Ali, would not have gotten it done had you not been able to take a punch. I mean, that sounds like a, a, a ridiculously simple statement no. to make, but it's true. It takes all the above. So in the round two, Frank Vassar has continued to press, but Chris Bird has had the answer. And that answer has been the good combination punching and hand speed. And it has created some redness on the nose of Frank Vassar and has also created a lot of points for Bird. We, we move into the third. Frank Vassar in the red, the defending Olympic Fest champion, and Chris Bird in the green won the U.S. Amateur Competition this year. So he is the U.S. Titleist right now. Vassar finished third in that competition. Bird off those ropes. You know, Ray, he has boxed very well off those ropes. He really has been very effective here. It's a no-no, of course, everybody says, to box off the ropes, but once in a while you encounter a boxer who just loves to do it and is so good at it that it's almost wrong to tell them not to. Well, he gets by. Uh, Chris Burr is able to get by. In fact, even against the Cuban, he was able to decision Ramon Garbe of Cuba, so apparently it's working. Frank Vassar has been frustrated in this bout. We mentioned he lost the decision to Bird in the U.S. Amateurs, and uh, the same problems that bedeviled him that night are doing so now. Big uppercut by Bird. Vassar tries his own hook, but it doesn't get there. Well, his brother has already won, Patrick. And now Chris Bird trying to make it a perfect day for his family. Bird landing combination after combination. So if there was any doubt about what he was doing, he may be putting it to rest here in the third round. And again, off those ropes. Boy, he likes it there. Well, Bird throws three, four, five punch combination as opposed to Frank Vassar, who throws two punches. And you can see, I think, that against many boxers, the constant pressure of Vassar might be too much for them, but not Bird. And you also notice, I mean, the punches are really hard thrown by Chris Bird, but they, there's so many, so many it's, it's so, so quick so fast keeps you from throwing your own punches in a lot of cases keeps you off balance both boxers showing just a little bit of fatigue as we're under a half minute in the last round they've thrown quite a few punches in this match bird is open for the left hook ray and now vass is throwing it but Getting it there a little bit too late with only seconds remaining in this bout. And it was too little, too late for Frank Vassar. We would think 
Chris Bird with a superb performance. Will we have one less Olympic Fest champion? We'll see. Well, well uh, this fight was replete with uh, action-packed sequences, and one occurred here in the second round where you see how many punches were thrown and how effective, especially, Bird was on the inside. His hand speed might well have been the difference. Vassar landing some shots, but more punches in general coming from Bird. And that left hook that Vassar landed was his most effective weapon during this bout, but the question is, did he get it in often enough? Well, we'll find out. Let's go up to the center of the ring and get our decision. In the 165-pound division, the judge's decision, the winner on points, 50 to 20, is in the red corner, Chris Bird. Well, they're all smiling in the Bird household because Chris Bird joins his brother Pat in the winner's circle. These two youngsters from Florida.